The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Well, let's start our walkthrough of the 182 Pro Mag right back here at the stern. Today's boat is powered with Mercury's 150 horsepower Optimax. Climb aboard, let's take a good look at the features of the 182 Pro Mag. The family that loves fishing is really going to enjoy the 182 Pro Mag. Her interior is comfortable and easy to care for. Gauges are easy to see and modern looking. She has plenty of room to carry all your favorite gear and designed to deliver a smooth ride like none other with Hydrolift Hall technology. The port box at the stern houses the oil reservoir and the starboard box the cranking battery. They're separated by a splash well for the 150 horsepower Optimax on our test rig. The live well has a unique flow right system and a casting seat space next to the live well for the aft deck. Drink holders flip down on either side of the chair space in front of the stern wall. Cockpit space on this model is nice. Flooring is vinyl, but you can opt for the comfort of snap-in carpet. Smoker craft built in plenty of toe kick space so you have leverage for the big fish. Side panel storage is in the starboard side. Gunnels are wide enough for good footing or for added trolling rigs. The companion and helm seats are pedestal seats with swivel adjustments. The companion seats seemed a bit close to the dash, but I'm a big guy. In the top of the companion dash is the handy tackle box for your favorite lures. The glove box is nice and deep for your wallets and other small items, and underneath is room to store more tackle boxes vertically. One of the trolling motor batteries fits behind the snap-in cover here. A center locker has room for eight rods and more tackle box storage. The wheel is a three-spoke C-Star hydraulic steering wheel that made this boat a charm to handle. Instrumentation included a tachometer, Ritchie compass, multi-gauge with speed, voltage, and fuel meters. A Lowrance X125 fit neatly on the right side of the helm station to maintain a watch for fish and the bottom conditions. Aircraft style paddle switches were lit for easy finding them at night. Under the dash is storage and another snap-in cover for a second trolling motor battery. Stepping through the full frame windshield with flip over walkthrough, there's a raised casting deck with room for a casting chair. The starboard side has a locker with a bow light stored in clips under the lid and a port side live well to serve the fisherman up front. On the front of the helm is a convenient cord pass-through for the charger for the trolling motor batteries. The 182 Pro Mag measures 18 feet 2 inches length overall with a beam width of 96 inches. She weighs in at 1,425 pounds drive without engine and has a capacity of 1,625 pounds. This model has a fuel capacity of 31 gallons. Well now that we've done our walkthrough, it's time for the fun part of my day. Let's take her out and see how well she performs. Testing on a challenging windy day on an inland lake, I found the 182 Pro Mag amazingly quiet riding with little slip and turns and no blowouts or cavitation wind turning. Near top end, you still get a boost when you pour on the throttle, and maneuvering around the docks was also easy. I found she was on plane in a quick 2.3 seconds and passing 30 miles an hour in 6.2. The 182 reached a top speed of 49 miles per hour at 5,500 RPM and the best cruise speed at 3,000 RPM going 25.1 miles per hour for a range of 124 miles. Well, that about wraps up our time on the 182 Pro Mag today from Smokercraft. As you can see, she's a great family boat, she's got great fishability, and she's got durability. You can't go wrong with Smokercraft's 182 Pro Mag.